Imagine a place where gravity reigns supreme, a place where the force of gravity is so intense that it dominates everything around it, a place where the very fabric of space-time is warped beyond recognition, twisted and contorted by the immense gravitational forces at play, a place from which nothing, not even light, can escape, as the gravitational pull is so strong that it bends light itself. This is the realm of black holes, the cosmic monsters that lurk in the depths of space, hidden from view yet exerting a powerful influence on their surroundings. Black holes are among the most fascinating and enigmatic objects in the universe, capturing the curiosity and imagination of scientists and enthusiasts alike. They are regions of extreme density and gravitational pull, where the laws of physics as we know them break down, creating a singularity where conventional understanding ceases to apply. Black holes are not holes in the traditional sense, they are not empty voids but rather incredibly dense points in space. They do not lead to other dimensions or suck in everything around them indiscriminately, but they do have a boundary known as the event horizon. Instead, they are remnants of massive stars that have collapsed under their own gravity, leaving behind a core so dense that it forms a black hole. Imagine the Earth being squeezed into a sphere the size of a marble, an object so dense that its gravitational pull becomes inescapable. That's the kind of density we're talking about, a density so extreme that it defies our everyday experiences and challenges our understanding of matter. The concept of black holes has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike for decades, inspiring countless studies, theories, and even works of science fiction. They are a testament to the power of gravity and the bizarre nature of the universe we inhabit, showcasing the extremes to which nature can go. In this essay, we will delve into the mysteries of black holes, exploring their formation, properties, and the profound effects they have on the cosmos, from their role in galaxy formation to their potential as gateways to other realms. Join me on this journey as we unravel the secrets of these cosmic giants, venturing into the unknown to better understand the universe we call home. Stars are the cosmic furnaces that illuminate the universe, but even stars have a lifespan. They are born, they shine, and eventually they die. The death of a star can be a spectacular event, but for stars much more massive than our sun, it can also be the birth of something far stranger, a black hole. Stars are locked in a constant battle against their own gravity. The outward pressure from nuclear fusion in their cores pushes against the inward pull of gravity. For most of a star's life, these forces are in equilibrium, allowing the star to maintain a stable size and luminosity. However, as a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, the outward pressure weakens. Gravity begins to win the battle. For massive stars at least 20 times the mass of our sun, this gravitational collapse is catastrophic. The star's core implodes, collapsing in on itself at an incredible rate. The outer layers of the star are blasted away in a supernova explosion, one of the most powerful events in the universe. What remains is a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume, where the known laws of physics cease to apply. This singularity is the heart of a black hole. Envision a boundary in space, a boundary that is both mysterious and awe-inspiring, a place where the laws of physics as we know them begin to break down, a boundary where gravity's pull is so strong, so absolute, that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. This is a place where the very fabric of space-time is twisted and contorted by the immense gravitational forces at play. This boundary is known as the event horizon, and it marks the point of no return around a black hole. Once anything crosses this threshold, it is irrevocably drawn towards the black hole's core, never to return. The event horizon is not a physical barrier, it's not a wall or a surface that you could touch or see with the naked eye. It's an invisible boundary, a region defined by the limits of escape velocity. Beyond this point, the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light, making it impossible for anything to break free. Instead, it's a region of space-time that is so warped by the black hole's immense gravity that any path a particle could take, even a path at the speed of light, leads inevitably inward towards the singularity at the black hole's center. This warping of space-time creates a gravitational well so deep that escape becomes a futile endeavor. Imagine you could shine a flashlight outwards from just inside the event horizon. The light, rather than traveling through space as it normally would, would be bent back towards the singularity, trapped forever within the black hole's gravitational grip. 
the light, rather than traveling through space as it normally would, would be bent back towards the singularity, trapped forever within the black hole's gravitational grip. This bending of light is a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, where the intense gravity of the black hole distorts the path of light. The size of the event horizon depends on the mass of the black hole. The more massive the black hole, the larger the event horizon. This relationship is a direct consequence of the black hole's gravitational influence. A black hole with the mass of our sun would have an event horizon with a radius of only about 3 kilometers. This relatively small size belies the incredible density and gravitational pull of such an object. A black hole a million times more massive than our sun, like the one at the center of our galaxy, would have an event horizon with a radius of about 3 million kilometers, roughly four times the size of our sun. These supermassive black holes are the titans of the cosmos, their event horizons vast and all-encompassing, swallowing everything in their vicinity with an insatiable appetite. Black holes, despite their reputation as cosmic vacuum cleaners, don't simply suck in everything around them. They are far more complex and fascinating than just being cosmic drains. In fact, most of the matter that falls towards a black hole never actually crosses the event horizon, the point of no return. Instead, it gets caught in a swirling vortex of gas and dust known as an accretion disk. This accretion disk is a fundamental feature of black holes, acting as a sort of cosmic traffic jam where matter spirals inwards, gradually getting closer to the black hole. Imagine a cosmic whirlpool, a maelstrom of superheated matter spiraling towards the black hole's maw. This whirlpool is not just a chaotic mess, it has a structure and dynamics that are both fascinating and complex. As this material falls inward, it collides with other particles, generating friction and heat. These collisions are not random, but follow the laws of physics, creating a hot, dense environment. This process can heat the accretion disk to millions of degrees, causing it to emit intense radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. This radiation is a beacon, allowing astronomers to study these otherwise invisible objects. The accretion disk is not a uniform structure, it's a dynamic and turbulent environment, with different regions rotating at different speeds. This differential rotation is key to understanding the behavior of the disk. It's a dynamic and turbulent environment with different regions rotating at different speeds. Material closer to the black hole orbits faster, whipped up to incredible velocities by the intense gravity. Material closer to the black hole orbits faster, whipped up to incredible velocities by the intense gravity. This creates a shearing effect, where different layers of the disk move at different speeds, adding to the complexity. This differential rotation, combined with the intense heat and magnetic fields, can create powerful jets of energy and matter that blast outwards from the poles of the black hole, extending for thousands of light years into space. These jets are among the most energetic phenomena in the universe. The study of accretion disks is crucial for understanding how black holes grow and evolve. By observing the radiation emitted from these disks, astronomers can learn about the properties of the black hole itself, such as its mass, spin, and even its history of feeding on surrounding matter. By observing the radiation emitted from these disks, astronomers can learn about the properties of the black hole itself, such as its mass, spin, and even its history of feeding on surrounding matter. This information is vital for piecing together the life story of these enigmatic objects. Advanced simulations and observations have allowed scientists to create detailed models of accretion disks, helping us to visualize and understand these complex systems better. These models are continually refined as new data comes in, making our understanding of black holes ever more precise. Observing black holes in different wavelengths of light, from radio waves to gamma rays, provides a more complete picture of their behavior and the environment around them. Each wavelength reveals different aspects of the accretion disk and the black hole itself. Future telescopes and space observatories promise to unlock even more secrets of accretion disks and black holes. With each new discovery we get closer to understanding these mysterious giants of the cosmos. The accretion disk is a testament to the incredible forces at play in the universe, a swirling dance of matter and energy that continues to captivate and challenge our understanding of the cosmos. As we continue to study these fascinating objects, we are reminded of the vastness and complexity of the universe and our quest to understand it.